From the great Atoll Monastery in Bavaria, we welcome you to The Joy of Music with Diane Bish, the First Lady of the Organ. Today, we bring you a special concert featuring the life of Christ in song with special guests Shirley Close, mezzo-soprano, and Frederick Walters, violist. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Diane Bish. Everyone leaving the main road between Munich and Garmisch-Partenkirchen at Oberau to drive up into the valley of Amma is astonished to find a great and mighty dome church, a vast monastery surrounded by towering mountains. It is a monastery that has seen over 600 years of history. It was built in the 1300s, and within its walls are great art treasures and a Rococo organ over 300 years old. Today on the Joy of Music, you're going to be hearing a concert of music from this great domed church. My special guests are Shirley Close and Frederick Walters. The theme of this great church is the Sursum Corda, Lift Up Your Hearts. You who enter this house of God during the rush and activities of your daily lives, forget the things of this earth and think rather of the great goal you are approaching, the eternal glory of God, the blessed Trinity, God the Father and God the Son. the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Peace, peace. 
and they shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Prepare thyself, Zion, with tender affection, the purest, the fairest this day to receive. Haste to welcome the bridegroom. Meet him with a heart overflowing.
You are listening today on the program to music from the Etal Monastery in Etal, Germany. This beautiful monastery was built in the 1300s and the organ was built in the 1700s in the typical Rococo style with its ornamented gold-leafed carvings. You will notice also that the keys are reversed. The white keys are black and the keys that are usually black are white. Also, the stops are different colors according to the manuals. It is now in the middle of winter and as is the case in most monasteries and cathedrals, they are not heated. Therefore, for the organist to play, one must be very warmly dressed. As a matter of fact, on most organs in the cathedrals and monasteries, there are heaters over the keyboards to keep the hands of the organist warm, and also heaters to keep the feet warm. Everything in this great dome church, the organ, the artwork and the ornamentation lifts us up to the beautiful painted dome, which is one of the largest domes in all of Germany. Nothing was to be concealed in this great dome. Rather, worshipers were given an uninterrupted view of the triumph of the saints in heaven. Sursum corda, lift up your hearts, is the theme of this great church. The Gloria Dei, the eternal glory of God, the blessed Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, and the Holy Ghost, the center of the heavenly joy and splendor, the object of our songs of praise. The organ loft rises above the church with grace and elegance. How vivid is the outline, how rich and musical the Rococo decorations and the carved lattice. This masterpiece stands magnificently, reaching up to the light of the west window with its crowning cartouches. Its music is a song of praise to God who invites men everywhere to praise him in his company.
Savior, hear me. I implore thee, in thee alone can peace be found. Thou canst sustain, and thou restore me, whate'er the cares that bow me down. If thou but suffer God to guide thee and hope in him through all thy ways, he'll give thee strength whate'er betide thee and bear thee through the evil days. Who trusts in God's unchanging love builds on the rock that not can move.
been listening on the joy of music today to music from the Eto Monastery, a building and a monastery over 600 years old with an organ over 300 years old. My special guests have been Shirley Close and Frederick Walters. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs>